Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praises <clears throat> and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wahaki and Mahakwa, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this uh, recent news article from ArabNews.com, and it reads It says Hamas claimed a uh, rocket, get yeah, rocket barrage from Lebanon into Israel. This is uh, from April the 29th, 2024, and it reads, it says, uh, Hamas armed wings said its militants in Lebanon south launched Monday a few slew of rockets at a northern Israeli uh, military position as fighting has raged on in the Gaza Strip. It says, after Hamas' October 7th attack on Israel triggered war in Gaza, as a powerful Lebanese ally, Hezbollah, was exchanged nearly daily fire with the Israeli forces across the border. It says Palestinian factions and other allied groups in Lebanon has uh, also sometimes claimed attacks. Hamas fighters has fired a uh, concentrated rock rocket barrage from South Lebanon towards the Israeli military positions in the Asudam al Qassam Ridge in a statement on Telegram. It says the armed wings describe the action as a response to the massacres of the uh, Zionist enemy Israel in Gaza and the occupied West Bank. This is says the Israelis armed Salaki. It says the uh, Israel the Israeli arm uh, told the AFP approximately 20 launches across Lebanon entered the Israeli territory, but it has intercepted most rockets and struck the source of fire. It says no injuries or damage were reported, the arm says. And it says uh, the latest rocket barrage came as Hamas negotiators were expected to arrive in Egypt. On Monday, were they were due to respond to Israel's uh, latest proposal for a long-sought trust in Gaza's hostage release. On April the 21st, Hassan Bridges claimed a rocket barrage into northern Israel as strike in January, which the U.S. defense officials said uh, carried out by Israel killed uh, Hamas deputy leader Salih al Qurayi six other militants in the Hezbollah South Bay roof of Lebanon stronghold. It says in Lebanon at least a 385 people has been killed in the months of cross-border violence, mostly militants, but almost 17 civilians, according to the AFP tally. It says the tally includes at least 11 Hamas fighters. It says Israeli said 11 soldiers and 9 civilians has been killed on the side of the border. It says ten of thousands has been displaced on both sides. So I'm running out of scripture. Matter of fact, I'm bringing up here in Jeremiah. Yep, this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah, chapter twenty-eight, verse eight. It says the prophets that have been before the before the of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence. Right, that's what we see in the world today, the increase in wars, evils, and pestilence. And this is uh, Joel, the third chapter. Joel, chapter three, and verse nine. It says, uh, proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Joel, chapter three, and verse 10, and it reads, it says, beat your plowshares and the swords and the pulling hooks at the spears and let the weak stand strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down. That's what's uh, edifying of this recent news article from ArabNews.com as Hamas claimed rocket barrage from Lebanon into Israel. I would say as of uh, April 29th, 2024. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Kapadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wahakim, Wahakwaf. Until next time, I would say Shalom.